Hey everyone, Mike from Just Watch Back for another watch review. Uh, excited about this one because you know I love my turtles and I just got this one in about a week and a half, two weeks ago and I've been really enjoying it and I uh, just wanted to uh, go over this watch with you guys and give you my thoughts and feedback on it. But before I do that, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who uh, has followed and commented and liked and the discussions that we're having below the videos. Uh, awesome. We're building this cool little community of uh, watch geeks like myself, and I'm just super happy about it. And uh, I love the positive energy that everybody's giving. makes me want to uh, make more videos. So everybody, thank you so much for uh, the great feedback and the follows and the likes. And please continue to do so if you like this stuff. Uh, please share it with your friends and uh, you know, we'll just keep building from there and just keep having fun talking about watches. And that's, you know, what this is all about as far as I'm concerned. So today's watch that we are going to review uh, it is another Seiko Turtle. Uh, this one is a special edition. This is the Potty Edition uh, Seiko Turtle uh, that I wanted to show you guys. It's got some really cool, uh, unique things that sets it apart from other Seiko turtles and we'll come back with this one in a couple weeks or maybe a month after it gets more wrist time and just give you guys a better uh, overall view on it. Uh, but for now, let's just uh, go through what makes this one different from the others. And I'm sure kind of one of the first things you're noticing, let's get in focus there. Uh, one of the first things you're probably noticing about this bad boy is that red minute hand. Uh, that really jumps right off of the dial there. Uh, so you get the red minute hand and you also can see uh, you have red markers on the hours uh, on the chapter ring, uh, which just gives a little bit of a different look. I think it makes it look really cool. I really like um, that little extra bit of color, uh, especially uh, how it looks with uh, the Pepsi bezel. And I've enhanced that a bit with uh, the strap that we're running. I'm running, give you a better overall look on it here. I'm running a uh, Archer NATO uh, that is pretty cool, 22 millimeter if anybody's shopping. Uh, on any of the websites for uh, a NATO for a turtle. It's a 22 millimeter uh, lug width on this bad boy. Other thing about this too that's unique uh, for turtles, there's not a lot of turtle models with this, is <laughs> look at that dial. Uh, that awesome uh, blue reflective, almost like a sunburst type of thing going on there. Really, really pretty dial. I'll put up some other photos or actually some other video uh, over the top of this. Uh, so you guys can see how this looks uh, in sunlight. It really pops. It looks awesome. Uh, as far as your handset, it's your typical uh, turtle handset. You have your, uh, you know, you kind of arrow shaped, uh, almost like a syringe shape on the hour hand. Uh, and then your index markers are all typical turtle as well, uh, which is definitely not a bad thing because they're awesome. So you have your Seiko Luma Bright uh, in indexes, indices, uh, you know, with a little bit of like a pillow embossing. Uh, you can really see it on the sunlight video, which I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll include on top of this. Uh, and then, you know, that gorgeous dial, of course. Uh, you've got your Seiko and your Prospects uh, logo screened on at 12 o'clock. And then down at six o'clock, you have uh, the Potty Automatic Divers 200 meter. Uh, bezel on this bad boy is really nice. It seems like they do a little bit better job on their special edition watches than they do uh, on the regular turtles. Uh, so as far as your alignment goes, everything's right on. And then, you know, the, the bezel uh, just has a really nice action. It, it's light here, so you can see it. I'll shut up for a second so you can hear it. Yeah, so it's a really nice light action. Uh, it does have, it's a lot lighter than your average uh, Seiko turtle. And I, I gotta fix this or I'll drive my OCD crazy. Sorry about this. <laughs> uh, so it's a lighter action than your regular um, Seiko Turtle, uh, especially like the ratchet action, if that makes sense. Uh, it just feels a little bit better, uh, but there is a little bit of friction there, not as much as a regular Turtle, but it's definitely uh, more noticeable than it is like on my 62 Maz, uh, which is just like the perfect bezel to me. Uh, or actually also the Shogun. Uh, the Shogun has a little bit notchier action than the 62 Maz does, uh, but the 62 Maz just knocks it out of the park as far as bezel goes. This one is very close to that. Like I said, a little bit more uh, friction as you run around. Uh, so, so, you know, that's definitely nothing to complain about. It's, uh, I think it's going to get better, too, as you use it more. Um, but that's it. Dimensions on this are typical Seiko Turtle. Uh, 44 millimeter case diameter. 
about 13 millimeter depth and about a 49 millimeter lug to lug. Uh, once again, they did include uh, the drilled lugs, which I definitely appreciate. Uh, this watch did come, I forgot to show you guys this, this watch did come on this oyster style bracelet from Seiko, which is pretty nice. It's got a nice brushed finish, solid links, uh, so brushed on top. And you can see in the center there, they did a little bit of a polished detail on the edges, which gives it a really nice look. It makes it look very classy, very luxurious. I really like that they did that. And then you have a signed clasp and it's a typical, um, you know, double lock. So you got your outs exterior lock there and then your push push onto the pin uh, with stamped stainless pieces uh, there at the center of the clasp. And then also your usual um, four pin adjustment. So it is an adjustable uh, bracelet. It's not adjustable on the fly, unless of course you're carrying a paper clip or something around with you, but it is adjustable uh, pretty easy uh, with a paper clip. So just be careful uh, and move one pin at a time. Also, uh, it does come with a couple of nice hang tags, uh, the potty scuba tank, and then your typical uh, Seiko tag with the model number. And of course, solid end links, which is always really nice. One thing that drives me crazy is watches that used to come with uh, just a stamped piece of steel and they'd get squished down and not match the, uh, the watch case anymore. Uh, not a fan of that at all. I actually used to sell Rolexes back in the day. I couldn't believe how often I would see uh, a Rolex bracelet that didn't match the case and it just looked like crap. And You know, at the time, I think a sub was selling for four or $5,000 and I was always like, I can't believe people are paying five grand for this, but that's a story for another day. We'll get, we'll get into that story at another time. Uh, so anyways, let's get back to this. So 44 millimeter, I want to show you something on the back here too. 44 millimeter uh, diameter sounds big, um, but it, it, in all actuality, it's not that bad because what they do is very cool. When they designed this bad boy, you know, three plus decades ago, see that cut on the side of the case? So what's happening is that's what's on your wrist, right? So you can see how narrow that is. It's more like probably 38 millimeter on your wrist. So it wears really well. And when you combine that with the curvature here on the case sides, so it wraps around your wrist really well, it just fits really good. Uh, you don't know at all that you have a 44 millimeter uh, case on and it definitely wears smaller than what you have. Oh, I forgot to show you the case back on this one too. So yes, I'm a nerd. I still have the blue plastic on, but it is your typical turtle case back, uh, the Prospects logo, the Tsunami logo, and Seiko Special Edition Air Diver 200 meter. And of course, as all good Seiko turtles have, you got your giant watch pin, which I love just because it gives you an extra feeling of security uh, there. And then let's take a quick look too at just the beautiful machine work and finish that Seiko includes on this watch. You can see it's an unsigned crown, but you know, the machining is just awesome. I love the machining that they do on this. I mean, look at that. Look how nice those cuts are there on the crown. And then the way the case back is polished, just the way everything is cut is really nice. And I love the uh, the grippers on the side of the bezel on these two, um, just really nice. And you can see just those really nice sharp, clean lines there on the shoulder as they go down to the lug. Really enjoy Seiko Turtles, I always have. And when you look at it, you can really see, when you look at the case, you can really see why they call it a turtle because of that, that tapered edge uh, case size. So there's your nice case there. So let's get her back on the strap and I'll give you guys uh, a wrist shot too. Um, it wears really well. You know, it's, um, it's, it's not super heavy, especially with it um, off of the Oyster style bracelet. Um, so it wears really well. Oh, actually, I should do a wrist check too. So I am wearing uh, my Steinhardt Ocean Vintage Diver Red Dial. Uh, this is a 40, I think, two millimeter. Uh, really like this watch. I wear it a lot. And uh, just for the price point, I don't think it's easily beat, uh, you know, considering uh, the Swiss ETA movement you're getting here and everything else. But we're not here to talk about the Steinhardt again. We've talked about that a couple times already. So let's uh, show you this potty edition turtle on the wrist. So, all right, I almost need a drum roll when I go to put these on because how much I fumble around with, uh, ah, look at that, with NATO straps on one camera. <laughs> it looks like we're getting back to the normal. It looks like the law of averages is returning. So 
there it is on the wrist. Like I said, it doesn't wear nearly as big as it sounds. So if you're worried, or if you have a smaller wrist and you're worried about it being huge on your wrist, don't worry about it. Um, I think this will fit down to a six and a half inch wrist with no problem, uh, maybe even smaller. I'm a seven inch wrist. And bear in mind too, that I'm running this on a NATO. So it has, and I didn't tuck that end piece, I normally would. So this NATO has an extra almost three millimeters of strap material underneath it which makes it stick up. So I just want to get move away from the camera there so you can see. It does not look huge on the wrist at all. So uh, I have checked this uh, over 24 hours, just an early check. And I think sometimes watches almost get a little bit better after a week or two of wearing. Uh, but it started out really good. This is a, you know, this is a Seiko 4 R36 movement. It's a workhorse movement. Uh, it's a really great movement. You, you know, if you go back and watch my other uh, videos that I've done, I did that 30-year torture test. Now, that wasn't a 4 R36. That was its predecessor. Uh, but that watch is still going on 30 years well, with, I think, four services. And I've had, you know, just I've done a ton of things to it that you shouldn't do to a watch. And uh, it's still going strong. And I would expect the same uh, with this 4R36 movement, just a fantastic workhorse automatic movement, no frills, uh, you know, just wear it every day, uh, service it every five or 10 years, and uh, just enjoy it for a lifetime. Uh, so this one is keeping, get back to the time, this one's keeping about a five second a day average. Uh, it's gaining about five seconds, which I think for, uh, you know, a watch at this price point is is very acceptable. You know, it's it, this is a watch that you're going to find on eBay for between $400 and $500 uh, without a problem. Uh, and I think, you know, an automatic watch uh, with all of these features that, you know, stays within five seconds a day, I think that's awesome. Uh, and it's just, to me, great looking watch too. I want to try it on a blue NATO as well, like a navy blue, uh, and see how that looks. I didn't really care for it on a black. It was just okay. And I'm going to have to size up this bracelet at some point too. I, just because I do think they look awesome on the bracelet, uh, you can see there. Uh, this is, I don't know if anybody has ever sized one of these before, uh, but if you get one of these and you do go to size it, if you have the sizing tools, definitely watch a video on it first. Uh, this is a pin and collar bracelet, uh, which means that there's a ton of small parts in there. Uh, with each pin that you remove, there's a tiny, 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 tiny little collar that that pin goes into to secure it in the, in the, in the bracelet. And, uh, that can be really easy to lose. So just want to encourage everybody, if you go to do a home at, at home sizing on your bracelet, uh, any Seiko bracelet at this price point, just be careful because it's probably going to be a pin and collar and it requires a little extra attention while you're doing it. But uh, no, no issues uh, once you uh, watch the video and pay attention to what you're doing if you have the correct tools. So overall on this watch, what did we think? Uh, awesome. You know, typical Seiko turtle. The things are built to take a beating. Uh, they last a lifetime. Uh, the price point at, you know, even if you're paying full retail at around $500 for this watch, I think you're getting a great deal. Uh, and, you know, at lower price points than that is just can't be beat. Uh, to me, it's got great style, uh, great everyday wearability, uh, not too big, not too small, uh, just like a nice sweet spot as far as the size goes and very comfortable to wear. Strongly recommend a Seiko Turtle to anybody that uh, is looking for just a solid workhorse dive watch, you know, a tool watch, uh, and something that you can even take next level. You can wear it, you know, dressing up depending on the strap that you're wearing it with. So don't hesitate to grab a turtle. Uh, if you're a Seiko collector, you should definitely have one in your collection. Uh, if you're a watch collector, uh, you should definitely think about getting one as well. Uh, just an iconic dive watch from Seiko. Uh, one quick final thing too, before everybody goes, just wanted to discuss, uh, I have brokered a little bit of a deal with Mimo's Jewelry out of Long Beach, California. Uh, that's M-I-M-O-S jewelry.com. Uh, if you go onto their website and purchase a Seiko watch, any watch that's in stock, use the code Mike35 and Mimo is going to give you 35% off of that watch. So for instance, this watch uh, suggested retail on it is $500. I think that's what Mimo has it is right around there, $500 price point. Uh, it would knock it down to about 350. Uh, shop and compare that to what's going on on Amazon or eBay, and you'll see it's a really strong deal, especially when you have the benefit, uh, if you're in the U.S., of getting it from a U.S. dealer, so you have full warranty paperwork, uh, no gray market issues at all. Uh, you know, the alignment's going to be good and everything else, so no worries there. I will put uh, links up 
in the uh, in the video description below uh, where you can go straight to Mimos, check out his in-stock ability, and use that code Mike35 to get a great discount on a watch. So everybody, thank you again for tuning into uh, this latest review on Just Watch. Once again, thank you so much for all of the great feedback, comments, likes, shares, and please continue to do so. I greatly appreciate it, and uh, I look forward to bringing you uh, the next video and the one after that. So everyone, thanks for tuning in again, and we will catch you next time.